if you spend a bit of time thinking about it, it breaks down into quite obvious sort of five reasons. So the first one, which actually hasn't come up, is it, it didn't happen. Um, so the communication, for whatever reason, wasn't sent. So this could this can include phone calls or app messages, texts, emails, etc. Um, now this will, this is an internal system or process fault. Um, either someone hasn't done something that they should have done, or the technology has failed. And that's 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 you can be pretty sure that that's a, if you identify that as a problem, that's pretty easy to to to, to stick with. Um, the second one is the communication wasn't received. And again, it was alluded to in, in some of the chat there. That it could, I mean, it could be because of poor technology on the other side, or it could be poor record keeping, like you've got the wrong email address or the wrong contact details. Um, and again, both of, these, both of these two here are relatively easy to identify and fix, and you can be pretty sure of what the communication failure is. The third one, and we start to get into a bit more sort of shady ground here, is, um, is, is it wasn't read um, or the phone call wasn't answered um, or the communication method isn't one a preferred one for recipients such as social media platforms I can hear that <laughs> um, this, right, sorry. this would indicate some lifestyle barriers for example phone or emailing at the wrong time um, or cultural barriers it might be that it's on a religious holiday it was sent and, and these are all essentially they're obvious barriers that would be easy to overcome if you had the sort of full knowledge of them. Um, the fourth one, which uh, uh, is, it just wasn't understood. And there are probably a couple of linguistic issues here. Um, the most obvious is the language itself, i.e. If you're, if you're sending a, an email in English to a parent that can't um, read English, that's a problem. Um, and I think we sort of touched on it earlier, a second problem could be jargon. Um, and I think for those of the, that do work in schools and education, I think we sometimes just aren't aware of how much jargon there is out there and how much we use it and, and just how impenetrable it is to someone who's not in the know. And the fifth one, which was that communication wasn't prioritised. And this comes down to some parents, the same parents always read it, the other the same parents don't read it. Um, and there's a lot of, lot of reasons why this could happen. Um, you know, uh, this is disaffection. Um, so this could come down to, to disaffection due to poor signposting from the school that something's actually important. I was talking to a friend earlier today who has three children at three different schools. And for her youngest, she's completely stopped reading any of the emails that the school sends her because she finds them so boring and she finds them too difficult to find out what's relevant for her and her, her child. Um, and what's happened there is we've sort of dropped off that intent table completely below the informational. And this, this is a serious problem. So those are the five main reasons. Um, now, if we move from sort of the one and two, we can be pretty sure three, once we get to four and five, we're probably speculating. 